This story is about a nerd girl called Jill who so likes science, drama, and football, which she plays. Nerd Girl was superpowers by Jordan Williams. She was walking alone in a car park wearing a pink frilly hoodie when all of a sudden these three bad boys appeared. Jordan was so shocked, then she ran by herself and tripped it over. Jordan was so shocked by a strange person doing karate to the three bad boys. Was so shocked to see it was Captain Carlton and Navy Nina. Captain Carlton asked Jordan if she was okay. But suddenly her legs was very painful. The next thing Jordan knew, she was waking up in the hospital. The doctors came saying, you are safe from three bad boys by Captain Captain and Navy Nina. I am so proud of you. You survived. You will have to stay in the hospital for three days because you of your broken legs. Three days later, Jordan returned to school. Jordan pushes her water into the classroom. All of the students and teachers were shocked at what happened to her. During recess, Jordan watches the boys play football. <laughs> no girl is shy, but happy to be back at school. The police arrested for three bad boys and they went to the prison. All of a sudden, Jordan feels strange after drinking an, an orange juice and with a Mia Meg. Jordan starts shaking when a lightning bolt hits her. Jordan's hair changed in color and her eyes were turning blue and white. Principal told the student to go to the oval just in case no one got hurt or injured. All of a sudden, the principal called for police, ambulance, and fire department. Jones, Nergo John Williams, was rushed to the hospital by the ambulance. Nergo arrived at the hospital and was rushed into the emergency room for treatment. Suddenly, the mayor of Perth came to the hospital and said, I think Nerd Girl may have superpowers. Nerd Girl superpower. Wow. The police officer said, I think Nerd Girl has to move from Perth to Melbourne because that is where Captain Carlton and Navy Nina's secret headquarters are. Are you kidding me? The surgeon said, you have begotten kidding. The mayor said, I am sorry, but that's final. No go, superpower. The surgeon said, okay, I guess. The next day, her cousin and grandma got her suitcase ready. 
Nurko had to travel by ambulance to the airport with two police cars leading for way. Once they loaded Nurko onto the plane, all of Nurko's cousins and school friends came to say goodbye to John Williams as the plane started to take off the end.